What's up? It's Pops Garage back again with day 63 of resolutions to reality. <clears throat> uh, let's see. And this is going to be for Friday. Um, March the 4th. Mar March the 4th. Um, and I have Saturday to do as well. And I'll do Sunday tonight after it's over because this is now Sunday afternoon at 2.30. I still have to do a kit game and I still have to do a product review for the rearview mirror I got from Rock Auto. Uh, so, hopefully I can get all these things recorded. So yeah, we have um, this will be sixty three actually, I'm sorry. Um the weather's been amazing here in Indiana. It's been great. Um it's been very warm with a little breeze. Oh uh, I haven't been Doing very well with any of my other resolutions besides uh, not smoking and not drinking and that's about it. Uh, everything else I've been pretty, pretty bad struggling with. Um, haven't been getting a lot of my important things accomplished um, off my to-do list. I'm going to try to get some of those done today. Uh, I have to put a rearview mirror on my car. I have to um, go get my tire plugged. I'm trying to plug it myself. Either one, I don't know. Um, gonna try to take the kids to the park so they can play. I have Colin and Deuce here with me. So I'm going to try to get them some activities in. For I know they hate coming over here just sitting in the house. But I've been sleeping. It's 2.30 in the afternoon and I just woke up. So I've been sleeping like one of the days that I have to work. But I've been needing this rest really bad because I'm already knowing that I probably won't have another um, weekend off the rest of this month. Unfortunately. But Fortunately, um, I do have this weekend off, so I mean, I want to get as much done as I can. I spent most of the day on Friday um, working. Um, nothing very significant happened. Um, been in a bit of a back and forth with just about everybody so I mean there's nobody specific that I can really talk about I had any issues with because it's been a back and forth debacle with just about everybody I come in contact with so today I'm just gonna stay to myself and try to get the stuff I need to get done done and just
just go from there. Um, not sure exactly what um, I'm gonna start with. I guess I guess I'm starting with these videos because that's the first thing I've done. Um, so Friday morning, I got up. Uh, Friday morning, I got up and went to work. Got off, came home, went to bed. Uh, that's just about it. Uh, um, been in my head a lot about a different bunch of different things. It's like been bothering me and trying to cope with and make adjustments with. But um. Just haven't been um, putting into action the things that I'm trying to to fix slash adjust. Kind of just been doing like the book says and letting my habits control me and not letting not me controlling my habits. Which is very unfortunate and very. Um, disappointing if I had to describe what my feelings have been for this weekend it's pretty just disappointed and I know I'm not alone in that feeling because I've been told multiple times how um, much I've disappointed other people Especially the ones close by me, the ones that care about me. The ones that do the most for me, it seems like. Um, but at this stage in life, you know, it's better to just take it for what it is, you know, because at the end of the day, we are who we are. Um, just like I try to tell other people, you know, they have control over their emotions and they have control over this and that and their situations and stuff. Same goes for me, you know, same goes for me and my downfalls. I have control. Um, something that I want to really focus on um, this month or for, for the remainder of this year. Uh, and I'm going to write it on my dry erase board because it's important to me. And that is um, situational awareness. Um, I need to have more situational awareness because... Um, my lack of has um, not just gotten me into binds, but it's caused me to inadvertently hurt other people that I didn't want to be hurt. Um, and I think if I had better situation awareness, I could keep myself out of those situations. Um, not just the situations of hurting other people, but being put into a position to where I can hurt someone else in general. Um, it's something that I'm interested in fixing. Um, I don't want this video to revolve around, you know, the negativity that I've accumulated. But uh, I do want to make sure I get that stuff off my chest so that I don't feel like weighed down by it anymore um, it has been weighing on my conscience um, uh, but uh, it makes me feel better to talk to my channel about you know these things because I do feel like it gives me room for 
um, development and growth beyond the faults. I mean, there was no way I was going to get through this year without making, you know, some mistakes. And like I was saying in the last video or the last few videos, um, I really need to um, see mistakes and see failure, temporary failure at least, as a as a place for opportunities where opportunity lives. Uh, because, in all honesty, that's where it is. And like I was saying before, success is usually one step past failure. And you really don't fail until you quit. You know, you don't want to fail. You don't want to stop two steps or three feet from gold, you know. You want to keep going. So... I'm going to keep that mentality about the whole situation, and I'm going to try to keep my head in a in a positive place. Um, I haven't really dwelled too much into the negativity um, thus far today. I've really just been trying to um, get my day started and, and move forward with the things I need to accomplish. Um, I don't see any like major problems with me being able to let go of the issues I've had and move past um, the things that I've dropped the ball on. Um, not in a way where it's like I'm just disregarding it or other people's feelings, but just in a way where it's like I want to dwell on them because it gives me like, like a defeated mentality towards it um, so that um, with that being said I'm going to try to focus more on what needs to be done than what's already been done I'm going to focus more on um, who deserves my attention and, and how I disperse that um, uh, I'm going to focus more on controlling my urges and situational awareness. I'm going to play the game more like chess than like checkers because that's definitely more beneficial to me. Um. I'm going to try to take my time more because um, I feel like I've been rushing and rushed myself into mistakes more. And I don't want to do that. Um, there's a bunch of different things that I want to make adjustments on. Um, I think today I'm going to have me some McAllister's for lunch. Um... But, uh, I'm not sure exactly what I want to do, but, uh, <clears throat> definitely got a lot of stuff to think about. Um, I'm probably going to do the Saturday video, too, before I get up and start moving around. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and get the box opened for the product review here soon as well probably also going to stop sitting in this chair for my reviews because I think the couch is more comfortable um for some reason the internet's acting funny I don't know what that's about but um I need to get that figured out when the kids probably unplugged it but um, that's not a big deal. I don't need to be on this computer right now anyway while I'm trying to do this video. Um, uh, let me think. I need to do some laundry, do some grocery shopping. I need to uh, get 
some stuff for lunch for next week. Um, it's a bunch of stuff I need to do. Um, definitely need to have some conversations with some people about um, going forward and expectations. I still haven't <coughs> had the conversations that I've been meaning to have with my child's mothers. Um, kind of just been walking around blind thinking everything will figure itself out I guess but um I really need to just be more direct and consistent with trying to get an understanding for where they are. Um, Not that it really matters to me where they are because, I mean, they're going to be where they want to be regardless. Just to make sure that, you know, I'm helping as best I can to get them what they need and want. Um, Because they deserve that. Um, I need to, I need to do some more praying, that's for definitely sure, I definitely need to do some more praying because I feel like I fell short of where I need to be and what I need to be doing, I've kind of gotten complacent with the whole purpose of why I'm doing this channel. And I think I've allowed myself to become undone. Um, I meant to get my hair twisted this weekend so I didn't look like a homeless person. But there's another week in the history books of me looking crazy. But at the end of the day, I really don't care. I'm not here for the looks. I'm trying to get bigger and better things accomplished and fixed and hopefully we can get those things in order. Um, I still want to go over the uh, 31 causes for defeat. I'll probably do that on the next video give me more to talk about because I feel like in this video I'm just kind of grasping for straws on things to even talk about but I still got to get it done you know I still got to make this time um, I really got to get myself back in order about doing these excuse me every day stop trying to push it off to the day after, oh, I can just record it tomorrow, I can just record two tomorrow, and it's throwing me off of my, my pivot, I need to stay with doing it every day, that day, or right at the beginning of the next day, uh, <clears throat> like I have been, so that I don't feel like this, and like I'm running out of things to talk about, or I'm talking about days that have passed that I can barely remember. Um, stuff like that. Definitely want to get it back to where it was. Uh, it's usually just the weekends and when I get to try and do too much in a, in a short time that this stuff starts to happen. But that's not an excuse. I'm not going to make an excuse about that. I'm just going to um, fix that mistake and keep trying to do better um, I got a lot of stuff that I need to think about and get done today so I don't want to be here just complaining and whining or beating myself up about things I fall short on I do want to 
try to improve on them. I do want to uh, be a better man for not just myself, but my children and the women I have children with. Um, because I'm a role model to them as well, whether I like it or not. I'm a role model to our children. I'm a sort of role model to them. Uh, but there's always going to be room for improvement. There's always going to be things that need to be done and can be done better. Um, and I got to always aim for doing my best and still do better after that. Um, that's just the rules of the game. I think that... Um, I think that one thing I need to really focus on um, putting in the <coughs> forefront of my mind is um, I need to focus on being completely honest at all times with everybody. I need to focus on um, my addiction to sex, and I need to focus on my diet and my exercise. Those three things right there are probably the most critical factors of why I am the way I am and feel the way I feel. I think getting those corrected will offer a lot of insight into what's really been ailing me um, these last few days. Um, And if not, you know, it could be something else. Who knows? But um, I do need to take a second and try to figure out how and why I can do all these other addictions that I have so easily, like smoking and drinking and all that stuff. I can stop that like cold turkey. And lying. Having sex. Not working out or eating right. Or the ones that I just cannot figure out. My lip bleeding. Yeah. I just can't figure out how to get to stop doing those things. Like sometimes I think it's like embedded into my personality to just not be about the right. And I don't know why. I do know that it didn't come out of nowhere. I do know that. Those are the issues that I'm dealing with. And I do also know that it feels like something that was either learned very early on and stuck for its success rate. Uh, I do know, or because... One of my parents, who I'm not very understanding of, was very similar in their time, and I'm just a new version of them. I don't know which one it is. I don't know exactly how it's going to get fixed. I just do know that I, at this point right now, I'm taking aim. And I'm not going to stop until it's dead. Um, Whether it be multiple tries at different things. Or, you know, like I've been saying, you know, suffering defeat. 
on different fronts for trying to make something go away that's so deeply embedded into who I am, um, it will be conquered, that's for sure, it will definitely be conquered, and uh, I'd like to do that sooner than later, but um, I'm going to take my time with uh, my attempts because I want to make sure I can get these things done and um, I want to make sure I can get these things done as soon as possible but I don't want to keep going back and forth um with like um I don't want to keep like trying to I'm going to keep doing, making the same mistakes and <laughs> failing. I mean, I've only failed at one thing, which is, um, the, um, failed at the, keeping the abstinence pledge to myself. It's not surprising at all. But, um, I just hope that the things I've done don't cause um, the people I care about to give up on me because um, that'll make it a lot harder. Especially... causes me to lose them in the process, uh, which has probably been my main issue with what I've been doing is the fact that I know it'll hurt them more than I would like to see them being hurt. But, like I was saying about the situational awareness, these are things that that I control. And I will get control of them. I just need to Make sure that's something that I'm adamant about first. Uh, I think that. Um, I think that'll be understanding. I think it'll take some communication. But um, I'm willing to do what it takes as long as they're willing to listen. <laughs> that sucks. 
But uh, I'm going to get off of here and start getting other stuff done so I can start getting other stuff done, I guess. But um, thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, this has been episode 63, <laughs> Resolutions to Reality. Um, I'll be back again later today with two more videos, at least two more resolutions videos, probably more than that, and just videos in general. But, um, I will get back with you guys eventually, throughout the day, periodically. Um, as always, if you see anything you like, like, subscribe, comment. Um, thanks again for watching. Um, adios.